Chat, here we go. It's the return of Evo to the 1v1 field. And if you've been at Fear Stream for a while, then it feels right. Evo, of anybody who's played on my stream, has long and away played the most games. He has tested himself against every ones player to ever take their chance on my stream. And now he's gonna do so against Juicy. Juicy from France and Evo from the US. Juicy from Moist Esports and Evo from Dignitas. If you guys don't know these players, maybe you know in similar positions as they try to make it to the major. I think Moist might have gotten two top eights. So it's still possible for them to make it in. They just need to have a good final regional. Evo able to get top four in his first regional. And it's gonna have to follow it up with similarly good performances if he wants to find a way into a extremely extremely deep north american region but right now these guys are playing against each other in 1v1 and we're going to go back and forth across eu servers and usc servers as i'm sure you're wondering how we're going to handle that i just did a coin flip to start it off and we are going to go best of five i do prefer the best of five i think over the sets of games on the two different servers even though that is certainly the more fair way to do it. Look at this shot from Juicy. Huge setup for this finish. I think people like to have a winner and I think we can all be adults enough to know that if Juicy does end up winning, that we do need to remember that he got to play extra games on his server as opposed to Evo only getting to play two on US East. Assuming it goes the full distance. Evo off the wall. Air dribble ends up faking it and just hovering behind as a 50. Juicy gets just enough on the save. Both these guys have been playing really well for their 3v3 teams. Honestly, I think both of them are the big reasons why I'm rooting for their respective teams. Juicy recently joining the 1v1 scene, playing in some tournaments and show matches and doing well. Has me rooting for him on Moist, and he's been playing well there. And of course, Evo, possible not to root for him as somebody who's been watching him play for so, so long. It's great to see him having success on Dignitas. Playing alongside Dries as well, one of the players who played a ton on my stream when he was starting out. Evo, Irritable Bump. He really likes these Irritable 50s right now, but Juicy's actually doing a good job at stopping them. Evo, for a long time, Wanted to pull away from ones, as I think he said they were a bit too stressful for him, which is no surprise. I think any of us who've played 1v1 ranked know exactly how extra stressful they can be. But who has said he wanted to make his return to the 1v1 field earlier today, maybe even, or yesterday? Now he's already back, ready to show what he can do. I think what happens a lot, and I don't know if this is the case for Reaver, I can't speak for him, but I do know that this situation happens fairly frequently where players grind once, get really solid at it, prove their worth on the 1v1 field before their RLCS age. And then when they become RLCS age, the focus switches. This is a great shot for Evo. He's been doing so much aerial gameplay, threatening this, that, and the other. This time he goes down low again. He hasn't really tried to shoot in the air yet but I think players who turn 15 then switch their focus and they want to show they can do it in RLCS now that they can they really want to prove that they're not just ones players what a shot from Juicy man these guys throwing haymakers back and forth at each other and so he's done that I think Evo's done that with the top four alongside Dries and Andy you know regardless of how the rest of his career goes forward maybe it involves him and Dig blowing up and taking over. Maybe it involves just a few more top eights or you know a new team eventually, who knows? It's impossible to know what Evo may do, but I think even with a single top four finish, he's shown that he can perform in 3v3 as well. Juicy, smooth catch. This guy's dissecting each other with the aerial dribbles down to the ground plays. Juicy's always been a very Exciting player to watch. Not the best air dribble setup on this take, though. Nice 
nice play by Evo. You see Juicy using his camera, trying to see where Evo's gonna be as he comes to land, but Evo's able to box him out and grab the midfield boost within one. Remember, this game number one is gonna be on EU servers, so it is 84 ping for Evo and 28 for Juicy. It'll be, I think, a bit worse when we swap over to US East. Juicy should be around 100 or so. Evo, able to flick and score this one. One second. Dogs barking at the intruder that just came in the house. Evo, kickoff goal. Put himself back within one. What dog breed? I don't know. It's a dog that we, or we didn't even find. A friend of ours found on the streets and brought in. So I, I, I don't know. He's ours now. Juicy, up one. Trying to find a way to dunk this air dribble in. Evo does a good job to end the possession. Juicy taking a safer approach with that setup and still Evo. Able to take over the ball. Well, this is a bit of an aggressive play. Didn't end up getting that touch, but actually backed Juicy off the ball. So it ended up doing maybe even better than what he would have gotten if he had actually connected with it, which was the ball rolling right in front of him to make a play on. Minute left to go, Juicy long shot. Evo does have the save. Interesting decision from Juicy to launch the ball because Evo had to use everything that he had to get that one save, which means normally you wanna cut the ball at net and force that zero boost defender to play as much defense immediately as possible. But when Juicy launches it to the side wall, he actually creates an opportunity for Evo to get it clear despite being in such a tough position. Juicy fakes. Saved. Evo's defense vastly improved towards the end of his one's career playing on my stream, and he's showing off right now just how good he can be. The problem is he needs some offense too. Juicy reset, and Evo can't stop that one. So Juicy likely securing the first game on EU. Not the end of the world. If you're an Evo fan, drop into a way server. But he is going to have to steal one eventually if he wants to win the best of five. Evo's gonna let it hit the ground. Hopping out of the match, I gotta save the replay and I will as well as we head to US East for game number two. Game number two, Evo and Juicy. Oh, it's a pretty similar trade-off. Eight ping for Evo and 96 for Juicy. Both these servers are very playable, I would argue. Obviously not what they're used to, but not impossible to steal a win on. Evo demo. Falls from the sky to ground pinch the first goal on US Easton. Eight ping is criminal. Yeah, the players who play from Maryland always seem to have incredibly low ping. Like, I think eight is just about as minimum as it goes. I don't know if I've seen a ping lower than eight. But the few players who have eight ping feel like they end up being in Maryland for some reason. I'm sure there's other places you can get eight ping, but. Evo, first touch away from the net, but that's never really been an issue for him as he finds a way back. Oh, he didn't try and go for the late 50. I thought he was going to roll the ball at Juicy and then dive to the opposite corner since that was where Juicy was clearly going to be forced to try and clear the ball. Ultimately, Evo stayed patient and now he's going to counterattack Juicy on his air dribble. Servers are in Northern Virginia. Is that right? I, I feel like they have to have servers all over the East Coast, right? They can't just drop them all in one place. Could be wrong about that, though. It definitely seems like there are servers in Maryland with Evo. Evo. 
using all his boost to air dribble to clear the ball out. That's not stopping him from looking for a scoring opportunity. As he picks up pads and tries to find a window. Juicy now finally going to get the space he wants as Evo backs off to the back corner. This flick. Not fast enough to make it past the defender. Juicy missed the midfield boost. He's trying to set up a wall to air dribble. But you can't do that without boost and it ends up working out even better. Juicy, what a five head play. Instead of taking the wall to air dribble, he baits Evo out of the net, falls to the ground, grabs the 100, and then cuts around him to get his first goal of game number two. Evo is definitely one of the disciples of the wall to air dribble 1v1 game, where you win the kickoff to the side wall and then just do your best to win in the air. This is a great recovery from Juicy. Evo thought he had a scoring opportunity. I don't think it's going to go back far enough in time for us to see that recovery. You get to see just the tail end of it. Juicy speed. Gets himself a counter attack goal. Another wall to air dribble from Evo. Goal line save, and he got just enough of a roll for there not to be an angle for Evo to score it. Long shots. Oh, interesting decision from Evo. I thought he was going to go around the other side of the ball and look to save it left. I don't know if he had time to, though. So he looks to pre flip. I don't know, sorry, pre flip, but just launch the ball against the near wall. And the pre jump wave dash onto the back wall was Evo's plan to get speed to be able to cover the shot, but could not. This kickoff goal is going to get saved. Under boost for Evo. Able to get the midfield as well. Juicy in control of the ball. Evo, I like that jump. He's never really actually planning on touching the ball. Just wanting to make sure Juicy doesn't come up to follow it. And then 180's back down to control it. It just cost him so much boost. Didn't have anything left to work with afterwards. Juicy has a flip off the ceiling. And ends up giving Evo a free goal. Big kickoff for Juicy. Works as well as it possibly could have. Oh, looking for the pogo. Wait, the shot. Oh, my goodness. He almost caught Evo off guard. Or I should say he caught me off guard. I thought it was over after he missed the pogo, but he actually had a pretty decent flick that he made from the shot. Evo was ready for it. Go leaning back into a catch. He was hoping to catch the ball aim it towards that bottom right post. Strong touch to his own back wall to keep possession. And he baits Juicy in, had the reset. Juicy thought the best time for him to strike was then. I think what he's hoping is that Evo doesn't want to use the flip. A lot of times when a player is really far away from the net in an air dribble, they're going to do whatever it takes to not lose control of the ball, which means not using the flip, bringing it back down, trying to low 50, etc. And I think Juicy was banking on that. But Evo was able to pop it past him with the flip and earned his goal. A fake challenge that Evo responds the same way to. Oh no, Evo! <laughs> He's own goaling. Juicy set him up off the ceiling pinch. Evo wanted to stop the double because Juicy was going to get the double. He absolutely was there for it. Instead... Evo feels better about himself hitting it in than Juicy. Juicy. Double off the back wall. Can't find it. Air dribble now. Nice save by Evo. Able to force it just high enough off the backboard. 
Just he couldn't find a way through. Very crucial. Next goal. Going to be scored by either one of these guys. Juicy's flick. Oh my goodness. Evo had to save. There's a ton of power on that flick. Evo has boost to work with. He's, though he's making it seem like he has a lot less than he really does. 60. Juicy. The air dribble reset. It's not in. The follow-up's going to be soft. Something that Evo should be able to handle. And now... It will be overtime in game number two. This game on US East, important for Evo to get this win. This is going to be headed back to EU after this one. High bounce. Evo is going to cost a lot of boost, and it's going to be hard to control into a meaningful shot when he tries to intercept it starting so high. Ball is back down. Long shot for Evo. Should be covered. Juicy maybe touched the ball a bit too far away, but Evo had already decided to head all the way back to the corner. Wasn't able to take advantage. Big challenge from Evo. Juicy ground pinch, I think also planning at low 50 in case Evo had actually gone to the ball. Evo forced up into the air in order to make sure that Juicy get a free touch but Juicy was just faking he was going to be a full field dribble opportunity if Evo can get a nice setup starting really high Juicy meets him actually not a bad result for Evo I think he was going to have a tough time setting up a dribble from that position now Juicy flick off the backboard long shot for Evo that first touch is not on target but he should be able to follow it up and win the game crucial win for Evo Juicy not going to be able to get away with a flick far enough off target that it did not hit crossbar or post, just pure backboard, and that often leads to counterattacks. Game number three, back on EU. Ping for Evo, back to 96. Juicy with a regular 32 as opposed to the magnificent eights that Evo is able to get on a lot of USC servers. Evo somehow made this work. He fell in front of the net, but I guess he had a flip left over. And he used it to push himself a bit closer to the ball to cut off those free angles for Juicy. Juicy missing wide. I'm actually kind of surprised we saw Evo jump for that one. It did seem to be enough wide that it was fairly easy to predict. Evo missing. He tries to play aggressively in Juicy's corner. Batira versus Zen next. I think Johnny recently ran Batira versus Zen. Did he not? But either way, I actually don't have connections with either one of those players. Um, I'll try to. Of course, I'll try to. Anybody who's interested in playing ones, which it seems like both Batira and Zen are interested in playing some one show matches nowadays. I will do my best to see if I can create those connections but for now you can catch those games on Johnny Boy stream we need the black fennec back so much you guys miss it the first time I was in the shop I got myself a black fennec nice a pogo shot from juicy we saw him try this a bit earlier this is actually not a very tall pogo either. It's about as <laughs> side on. Normally those pogos are used to surprise defenders by being really tall with the car and not letting it come. The ball doesn't bounce as low to the ground as the defender is expecting, but Juicy actually let it come pretty far down after popping back up to get that touch. Oh, what a strong shot from Juicy. Juicy turning to steal the 100, and that means he's probably prioritizing a boost grab over a strong shot, but he gets both in the process of going up 3 0. Evo crossbar down on his kickoff. Actually, not the worst bounce in the world if it's not going to go in for him to deal with. Straight up onto the backboard where Juicy, who's in the net, can't get to. Evo off the wall. Reset. Wave dash low. Juicy. What a save. Evo really felt like he was going to be able to get something out of that. 
diving even after Juicy had kept it out because he thought for sure the ball was going to find its way in. 3-0. Evo calmly controlling this ball that was floated into his net. Wall dash from him to win the race to the corner. Can he turn this in for a goal now? Showing just why wall dashes are so important to learn if you're a top player. Juicy going to have to use the boost to get back on the ball and the reset into the shot. Juicy is popping off here. It seems like the first touch is a bit too soft, but he uses his boost to fall right back on the ball. So pure from Juicy. 4-0 lead. He's too juicy indeed. What is the decal? I think he's using the same decal everybody's using, right? Is this... Oh, no. Maybe it's not. It's like... I think it's just a blue fennec. I think it's a blue fennec with no decal. That's what I want to say. Ombre? Oh, no. Apparently, it is a decal. Shows you how much I know about items. Will the show match be posted on YouTube? It could be fun to watch those two series. Are you talking about the one versus the Grand Champs? Nugget versus the Grand Champs. I think we will. It's a great fake by Juicy. We're going to have to watch it again. Because I'm looking at chat while talking about it. But look at that. Wave Dash drives around the ball and then ends up flicking back towards the bottom left. Big kickoff. Juicy has it figured out here on EU servers. Ground pinch. Oh yeah, if you're talking about Batira versus Zen, I think that was on Johnny's and he'll upload all of his to YouTube. It would be the first time in all of time pretty much that he wouldn't do it if he didn't. Oh, Juicy, that's the kind of Poco I was talking about earlier, but too much power. I say too much power, but he was low on boost and it's actually not a bad way to make sure he stays in control of the ball. Oh my goodness, what movement on that shot. Even crazier that Evo was able to get the save. This is how the last game on EU finished. Oh, Juicy! Just enough. It doesn't need to be strong if you get surprising movement. And Juicy front flips just underneath the ball after falling so far away from it. And gets just a soft enough touch to get around Evo. 6 1, Juicy. Absolutely popping off right now. Evo comes from a time when he was dominating in ones where it was all about the wall to air dribble. Winning a kickoff to the side wall and then popping off in the air. It's going to be a double reset for Evo to get a second goal. But he's going to need a lot more where that came from if he wants to bring it all the way back. Juicy faking that he's going midfield to take the midfield 100 and then diving to grab the back corner. He's doing that so that Evo chases him into the corner and loses the boost as opposed to them just trading and both getting hundreds. Juice is going to be able to tap this in easily now that Evo missed his challenge at the midfield. Evo trying to intercept off the bounce, but Juicy getting just enough acceleration on the ball. Held down power slide. Oh, on the bounce again. Right, like as he hit the ground. I wasn't paying enough attention to that. What server is it? Doesn't one of the players? It does. Right now, Evo has 100 ping. Or just under 100, around 96. Both of them had about 96 playing on the other server. Evo able to muscle out a chance at a third goal, but even if he scores this one, it's going to have to be perfect on the ensuing kickoffs to pinch. Not enough power. Wave dash into the ceiling, into the ball. Juicy, the pogo, the backflip. It all works. <laughs> this is the most stylish goal that didn't actually really do anything. Here's the slow-mo touch. That's the shot that scored. <laughs> and then the, like, the pogo attempt and then the backflip to try and get something out of it. None of it connected, but all of it was able to convince Evo that it could have been a shot. So it turns into an eighth goal.
clock winding down. Evo's going to have to win on US East and then steal one on EU in game five. I don't think I've seen a match like this go in whatever, like the way everyone would expect, where it just you just trade each other's servers. So it'll be interesting if we get that for the first time ever. Game number four. Evo and Juicy. Gonna be a fake kickoff for Juicy. What's the kind of ping on this server? See, this is not as good. We got him a 96 one earlier, 116. It's gonna be a lot tougher. In fact, would be against trying to find a new one. Rolling at least once. I'll wait until a scoring opportunity is converted on. Juicy taken to the ground, hook shot. Do you find with 116? Or 120 even? He says no problem. And he proved it right there with the first goal. Absolutely rocketing shot. Even gonna kick off right back. I wonder if Juicy still is okay with the 120 ping. <laughs> or if he's like, oh actually after that kickoff, never mind. Out to the ceiling. Nice shot. Had to get a really soft touch to control it, but he did. And Juicy, who's forced back onto his back wall in order to grab the Hunter boost to be able to challenge. Cannot read Evo's setup. That's why those wall to air dribbles are so good. I mean, you'll see wall to air dribbles in other contexts of the game, and they'll get eaten up much easier. But off the kickoff, you know the defender is forced to retreat, grab boost, and try and make a late save attempt. That's when you can really farm them, and Evo is maybe one of the best at doing that in the 1v1 game. Right around the time that Evo came up, I think I mentioned this earlier, Daniel was dominating all of North American 1v1 with the wall to air dribble off the side wall. And everybody started to really integrate that and make that a main part of their once game, Evo being one of them as well. Showing that that's still how he likes to win his 1v1s. Nice undercuts. Steal this ball away from Evo. Or sorry, from Juicy. But Evo the one stealing it. He's gonna go full field dribble. He's been very patient on his offense. Evo, back in the day, was one to maybe get a bit overexcited in search of the clip, but Juicy hasn't been challenging him. He hasn't been using his flips. This time the wave dash shot, and Juicy tried to react to it, but could not. Did his best to make the save on the goal line, but actually ended up going a bit past the ball. Could only slow it down. Wave dash kickoff. So, not sure he's going to like the end result of that touch. Surprised he slammed it off the corner. Juicy was obviously going to win the race to the boost, which meant that there's going to be Evo running back to net with zero, Juicy with 100, and the ball at the center field, which can feel like an advantage for him. And yet, here he is showing me that apparently it is. Juicy attacking his nets. Not able to get much of anything, and Evo counters. Juicy catching this ball in its apex, looking for a double reset. I think accidentally flicked it away, but that was a shot? Wait, maybe I'm crazy. I thought he sent it way off target with that. The game is going to say that it was a save. Evo just dropped the ball down for Juicy for free. Looking to air dribble it back into his half. That was going to always be a tough one to hold on to without own goaling. Is Zen playing today? Yeah, Zen is playing on Johnny's stream later today against Daniel. I'm not sure how they've been doing the servers on those. I think Zen's played a couple different US East people. Does anybody know how they've been doing those servers?
Look at this backflip. This is just going to be a goal. Evo's just trying to backflip as a way to start a possession. Juicy chips it right off of him for an immediate goal. Johnny gushes so hard over Zen like a little schoolgirl. I, I, <laughs> I've watched a little bit of Zen. Something tells me if I was commentating during those games, you'd, you'd be saying the same thing about me. <laughs> you, you might even say I was doing it even worse. <laughs> I don't think it's an EU versus NA thing. I watched some of those Zen highlights. Juicy. It's been entertaining that Pogo a few different times. To go off the ceiling, playing this so fast. He's going to try and win the race to the opposite boost. He got the demo. The demo forced him off of the line of the 100, which I think makes his ensuing follow-up much slower. The trade-off that's probably still in his favor. You see him almost freestyling back to his corner to prepare for this next dribble. Juicy getting exposed. No, he made it back. Juicy, you could see, was headed towards the side wall, was looking to preemptively cut off any air dribbles from Evo. He wanted the psycho. Oh, I wanted to see it bad. That would have been a crazy one to score. Juicy slow dribble. Able to be read by Evo, and Evo almost delayed this setup. Wait, why did he finish it so soft? I felt like he could have put a bit more power on it and gotten a goal because he baited Juicy in. Oh, he wants another Psycho! <laughs> it's going to be so hard to score, especially when Juicy could see it coming. Juicy headed to the ceiling. Not back down to the ball in time. Evo not going to be able to set up a Psycho from that corner. Long shots. Yeah, Juicy just barely got away with doing this last time as he was able to save the long shot. But not going to get away with it this time. Coming all the way to the ceiling in preparation to stop Evo's air dribble means he is going to be recovering late for a power shot. So 6-4. We are going to go back to EU. And it's just been a trade of these players winning on their own server. Demo from Evo on to Juicy. He's going to be able to get one more. No. Should be hitting the ground. Did I see Zen Psycho? I did. His was on the ground, right? If Evo had gotten his, I would have been crazier than even Zen's. But he wasn't really anywhere close, so. Game number five. Evo and Juicy back on EU servers. Will we see, I, I swear, the first series I've ever done where we've done cross-server regions, but the player just wins on their own server. You know, you'd think you'd see it a bit more often. A couple evenly matched ones players just take their ping advantage and convert it, but I swear you don't see it very often. You see it all the time whenever you do 3v3 cross-server stuff. 3v3 cross-server stuff very rarely goes away from the top team's server advantage. Thank you, Hot Dogs Fun, for the brand new Prime. Contributing to the Prime until full-time movement. Script going crazy today. It has been a good match between these two. These guys are both very exciting. I've been asking Juicy to play a lot, and it's because he is a very entertaining ones player to see play. And actually, both these guys are entertaining threes players. I already mentioned how they're the guys I look out for when I'm watching Dig and Moist, respectively. Goal line 50 for Evo. Using his 20 boost that he has to chase out to the sidewall, which feels like a risky decision and one that Juicy is able to convert on. Evo swinging around to pick up pads. He has 36 by the time he gets back, but he dove so deep and had to swing so wide in the process of grabbing a few to work with. Evo, he's definitely had more direct kickoff goals than Juicy. 
doing so even on the ping disadvantage. 100 ping for Evo. Only fair that we give him a slightly worse server than we had before, just because Juicy had a bad one in the previous game. Juicy's going to take his freebie that Evo just gifted him. This did not have to be a kickoff goal, I don't think. If Evo just prioritized defending the net as opposed to just flipping out to the corner. It's not as bad of a mistake as you might think, though. Because I think Evo's going to be in a really tough position if he tries to stay in net and defend with zero. I think it's still a better decision, obviously, than grabbing the 100, but... Evo essentially taking the risk that Juicy doesn't get the perfect shot and then he can play with 100 on defense instead of just almost certainly losing a long bout with zero while in net. Juicy though has been a bit of separation between the two of these guys in the first couple minutes. Evo being denied his wall to air dribble. The pinch. Might have been a goal if Evo wasn't there. I think it was going to bounce underneath. Evo trying to go for the Evo flick. That pre-flip flick. I've seen him attempt a million times in 1v1. I don't think I've seen him score it. I think he might have scored one on Johnny's stream. But he's certainly... You know, he's got other pros calling it the Evo flick. And basically that pre-flip flick has gone to his name. And I'll tell you what, he's put it into work. The number of times I've seen him attempt that flick and actually not be able to get a goal from it. No, he's earned it. You could call it the Evo flick. <laughs> yeah, I hear the wizard flick. I feel like it's just a pre-flip flick, but no matter what you call it, Evo certainly tries to score a lot with it. Juicy! Oh, he couldn't get the double. It went crossbar down. Almost able to tap it in off the backboard. He is not letting Evo take his wall to air dribbles. Evo pinch. Couldn't get the power. The scoring slowing down is in favor of Juicy, who earned himself a big initial lead. Evo trying to flick over Juicy's early pressure on the ball. Evo camera check. See where Juicy's going to be. Attacking the ball. Could be a power shot instead. Turns, gets the reset, able to drop it down. It's a move like that that threatens everything that allows him to control the ball. With the power sliding and wave dashing from Juicy. He's had a few masterful plays using that power slide in the series so far, but the scoring has just come to an absolute grinding halt after the 4-1 lead came early. You see multiple resets. Evo has the save and a ton of boost to work with as the shot ultimately was headed low on the goal line, so it didn't cost Evo a ton. Air dribble bump. No, Juicy has the save. What a save from Juicy. Such a crucial moment that Juicy needed to stop Evo from getting going. I think if that goal goes in, you know, you get a couple kickoffs, it's possible for Evo to make it back, but that save might have just iced the game, keeping them working in the midfield. Evo dunks for a second, 41 seconds. And now he's headed to the kickoffs. We talked about him needing Juicy try to get a reset and use that to wave dash and jump to cover the ball, but couldn't quite get up in time. Evo, that's a great kickoff. Wall to air dribble. What are we going to see? How many resets you want? Evo will give it to you. Juicy's going to early challenge and he attacks the ball with so much speed. It makes it much more likely that the ball bounces away from his own net. Evo was trying to pop that ball up. It didn't work out. He still has an opportunity. No boost. No Juicy around to stop him from grabbing the 100. Juicy went to challenge early, so there is the goal to put him within one. 15 seconds for Evo. What kind of kickoff is he going to get on this ensuing play? Will he fake? He has enough time with 15 seconds to control after a fake if he wants to. It is going to be a slight offset. Juicy maybe wants to fake. No, standard kickoff. Evo 
Takes it straight down the center of the wave dash. No, he lost control. He's not going to be able to follow that up. That's the other problem with that missed shot. Juicy gives him a freebie, though. Evo has to go the full length of the field. We know Evo can do this. The reset. Oh, no, he gets bumped, and no double is going to be possible. So Juicy will win in game five. He wins the three European games, and Evo wins the two USDs games.